Hello, welcome to Customer Effects Training Snippets. Today our snippet is going to be creating ad hoc groups in SalesLogic's web client. As we look at our web client here, um, currently I'm on the contact screen and I want to build an ad hoc group of let's say just 10 specific accounts that I want to put into a group. So first of all I want to go to the entity that I'm going to build the group on. So on the left hand side of the screen I'm just going to click on accounts. When I go to accounts it brings me into my accounts listing and currently I'm on the all accounts group so I'm just going to press down my control key with my left hand and with my right hand I will click on the accounts I want to choose. So continue holding down your control key as you choose all the records that you want to be in this group. Uh, make sure you don't click on the hyperlinks uh, as you're clicking on them. Click on some other area of the line. So once I've chosen them all, I've released my control key. Over on the right hand side, I do have a hyperlink here to save records as a group. I can also right click right in my grid here and choose Save Records as Group. When I do that, it's going to pop up the group name, so I can then name my group. And I'm just going to call this Top 10 Accounts. And click on OK. Once I've done that, you see that we have all the accounts here in the group. Up on the top of the screen now, I also have a, ta a tab called Top 10 Accounts. If I click away from that group uh, to another group and then I can go back to that tab at any point. There are also some other options if I right click on that tab. This is where I can go in and manage groups, uh, edit that group, share that group with other individuals, or copy that group. Um, I can copy that group and add other individuals to it if I wanted to change my group slightly. I can also hide that group here. Uh, hiding the group is just going to shut off that tab. I would also be able to turn it back on again just by going into my manage groups. So let me do that one more time. This time we're going to do it with contacts. So again I'm going to go to my entity contacts on the left hand side of the screen. In my all contacts group I'm going to first clear all my filters by clicking clear all so I make sure that I'm seeing all records then holding down my control key again with my left hand I'm going to click on several contacts here and I can scroll down also still continuing to hold down my control key and choose all the contacts that you want to put into this ad hoc group and then I click on save records as group I'm then going to name my group. I'll call this uh, Holiday Card List and click on OK. And here's my group. If I want to add other individuals to this group, I just highlight the individual or individuals, again holding down my control key, and I can click on Add to Group. When I click on Add to Group, it's going to show me the ad hoc groups that are available. Here I just have the one, the Holiday Card List. Remember my other group was built in accounts, so I'll choose Holiday Card List, and it's going to add those two individuals. I can also add a whole continuous list. So using my shift key, if I highlight one contact here, hold my shift key down and go down about 10 or 15 and highlight another one, you'll see that it marked out and that's barely visible, but it turned those a little bit blue. So all the contacts in between there now have been chosen. And again, I can click on add to group and I'll add it to the holiday card list. Now, if the contact has already been added to the group, they will not be added twice. So if we go and find our holiday card list now, so I'm just going to scroll to the right up here, 
Here's my holiday card list. I'm going to left click on that to bring up that group. Here is my group displaying uh, one of 18. There's 22 in the entire group. And at that point, of course, we could do a mail merge or, or something else with this group, run a report off this group. In this uh, training snippet, creating ad hoc groups in SalesLogic's client, you learned how to create an ad hoc group choosing individuals from any of the entities, like accounts or contacts, and putting them into a group. Now these ad hoc groups uh, will not change uh, automatically, only if you add or delete from these groups. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you in future snippets.